Okay, hi there. So in this video, we're going to talk about testing for Svelte using this uh, Svelte testing library. So you can come to this uh, website and look how they do it. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to set it up because if you follow their introduction and setup, it probably won't work. So I made a little git uh, repository and you can either clone this or you can just follow these instructions for your own project if you already have one. So you'll need to install all of these things, uh, blah, 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 all these. And then you'll add this to your scripts tag. And then you'll add this to the bottom of package.json. So let me know if I forgot anything or if this doesn't work for you for some reason. So once you've done that, let me show you. So I've got this little app. OK, so you type here and it changes there. Say bye, it changes it to bye. So this is app.svelte. Here, app.spec.js. So um, what I've got here is testing library slash svelte fire event this is so i can do clicks and inputs and render so this is to render the uh, component you're testing so you'll import the component describe app and then you'll have your tests inside uh, you can have a before each uh, or after each right here um, but you'll have to look through the docs to figure that out so here async if you're going to have any events then you'll need async um, I think this is specific to the Svelte testing. And the example I was looking at also imported tick from Svelte up here, and then they would await the tick. So you might need to do that. So see what works for you. This works for me, um, should work for you. So it'll be an async function. And uh, up here, I get all the elements. So I render the app, and then it returns container and get by text. So container, they have other ways to query, but this is, I think, is easiest. Container.query selectors, so you can just use normal query selectors, put them in constants. And then here we've got initial state. Uh, this is just saying expect high to be on the page. So here initially uh, high is on the page there. Um, if you have two components that say high, it won't work. But this uh, isn't actually, this is just the value of the input, so it's not the actual text of the input. Uh, so this works. OK, uh, input.value to be high. So I got the input, input.value to be high. So that'll pass. Um, then some other stuff here. This is how you fire an event. So fire event.input or dot .click. So you can just click the button directly. Um, or for input, you're actually going to, you'll say here like this, the component it's being fired on. And then you'll give it the um, event parameters. So it'll look like this. OK, so then you can do npm run test or just npm test. and um, it should look like that up there. If it fails, then um, it should run faster for you because I'm recording and my laptop is slow. So, uh, But anyway, it'll show up like this. You can try for yourself, see what happens if you make it fail. Um, it'll print out like a DOM and stuff for you. OK, yeah. So, OK, so that's how you set it up. Also, big thanks to uh, Mark Folkman, this was kind of, you can check this out too. This will help you out a ton if you're trying to set up Prettier, ESLint, Cypress, Jest, all that. Um, you can reference this here for some examples and for examples of tests to run in Svelte. Okay, let me know if you have any questions. Let me know what you're doing for testing. Also, use Cypress. Cypress is pretty cool also. Um, and that's all for the video. Bye.